buttons. No kidding. Buttons are going to be pressed. Lots of the combos. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of those combos. Yeah, Jose V's best bud, Blink, best is, bud. Is, is a Zero Suit Sound Flare. They actually went to high school together. BBF. Maybe. Best buds forever. Yeah. Yeah. They're like number one homies. They invite each other to their own birthday parties. Dude, that's like the number one sign of a homie. So yeah, we could expect Jose's punish game to be really good here. Because he plays this a lot. I see what Aiden has up, up his up sleeves. His sleeves. Yeah. Good combos. Yeah, Zirisu kind of gets comboed a lot, doesn't she? That's pretty fair. It's pretty, she's pretty hard to catch. It should be worthwhile. Because we saw like 74% combos earlier when Aiden was playing Red Ranger. We did. In fact, we saw a lot of zero to deaths. Just one grabs all it takes. So how do you think that uh, Zero Suit should play about this matchup? I don't know. Uh, I do know that the first two stocks, Jose V got like a zero to death and also a 70% combo. Holy shit, that was two from stocks? A, starting from a forward air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did not notice. I thought that was the first stock. Like, And he, he, he did the forward air the exact same way, where he ran up, did a magnet to mix up his momentum, mm -hmm. and then did a, four, a, a low forward air to the ground into a grab. And that was his combo starter for for the first stock, for both of those stocks. Damn, dude. Ooh, oh, oh, he missed it. He missed the balloon, <laughs> too. Uh, he probably, like, couldn't decide whether or not to hit the balloon or zero suit. Uh, maybe so he was he trying to hit both of them. Yeah. Jose does that a lot when he's, at, like, when they're, like, in an edge guarding situation. I'm not whoop. I'm not I, sure if I like when he does that. I think, I don't think, I don't think uh, Nez has a lot of super good edge guarding tools because he doesn't have a lot of range. And, like, the I things that so. do have a lot of range are Take up, like, time or not super strong. Yeah, like, forward air, you don't Ooh, really want to with that. Yeah. Damn, like, he just caught up almost. Yeah, he's bringing it back. It doesn't take much. I, I think something that might hurt a little in this matchup um, is Zero Suit's, like, edge guarding mm -hmm. in some ways. Because, um, like, if you miss that back air, which can be pretty tough to hit because like the hitbox doesn't last that long yeah um obviously like these are good players so like they probably know what you know when to do it um but edge guarding the nest is has proven to be can be quite a chore and if you don't do it right you could die yeah so i feel like that might be something that could hurt oh geez oh this platform oh, is my so God. bad not a single tech was landed that day. I think like he was trying to tech each of those, but locked himself out of the next one for each of those. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, he just wasn't able was to get it done. Of no tech. But he was actually handling the forward airs a lot better his last stock. Uh, there were three times where Jose hit both the forward air and got crouch canceled, dashed away, or smashed DI respectively. Yeah. So like Jose's not getting as much mileage out of the forward airs anymore. As much as he got the first two stocks, maybe uh, Aiden just needed a little bit of time to adjust. He's doing a uh, he's doing a lot more like nares out of shield too. Like zero suit will pop up, like with a down air on a shield, and he'll just like come back like rise up with a nair. Yeah. Ooh, that was good. Yeah, that's how you edge guard Ness. Just go. Just gotta keep hitting them. Ooh. Yeah, Aiden did a really good job there of just keeping the momentum that entire stock because they didn't really get to do anything except try to recover. Took a lot of damage. And take, it can take kind of a while for Ness to get his feet footing back in neutral. Yeah. Because like his punish, game, well, his punish game is pretty good, and I don't think his neutral is terrible, but it can be kind of tough for him to get that footing back. Because like a lot of people, let's say they would like, they can either jump out of a combo, yeah. or they'll Ness's, have like a. Ness's double jump is super yeah, slow. And it he takes a long have a time. Lot of range to threaten reversals. Yeah, because like. The only thing that I can think of that could break like a combo uh, as Ness is either down air or nair. Um, but whoop. But yeah. and Samus has very has long lady legs. Yeah. And Ness is just a little kid. Yeah. So Samus' his range combo is a little, tools are a lot of range. So yeah. It's harder for him. Ooh, that was good. I thought he was going to go opt for a, um, a down air on the platform. Whoop. Looking a lot cleaner. I think the switch to Battlefield worked out pretty well. Wow, he made that? Sure. Yeah, that was a very interesting neutral area he did there. He's going to get Battlefielded here. Ooh. Is he going to get Battlefielded? That's going to take it. 
So how is Aiden going to get this extra credit? And how is Jose going to get this stock? Uh, he has to escape the corner. He's going to, oh, Jesus. He has to, he has to beat the back air pressure. Where you're slowly, slowly, slowly running out of stage. Usually the way the, the way to do that is um you kind of like wave, like wave dash out of shield, like underneath yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's like, Ness goes at like a triangle kind of mm -hmm. angle. Damn, he's looking so much better this game than he is the last game. Yeah, I mean, really the first two stocks on the last game were just Jose getting a lot of good reads. I'll take it. And one so good being, read. being behind two stocks to four is one, a struggle. One good read's all you need with Ness. Again, he's missing these techs. And you see how, like, Jose delayed the, the last down air he did there? I think he was trying to um, mix up the tech timing so, he, so Aiden could yeah, just get that, another Yeah, that's actually pretty smart. I didn't yeah. think about that. Because he did the, like, because Aiden, like, very clearly missed the first tech there. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that was good. I, I thought he was going to go for, like, a PK fire or something, but he just, like, went on the platform and was like, listen, you're getting grabbed. Oh, good, good. Yeah, when Ness has a double jump and he's that close to the stage when he's recovering, he has a lot of options. He could do like a pretty much any of his aerials, but like rising upwards. Yeah, that the aerials rising scary. upwards, and then like he also has the option to like double jump cancel and change his momentum, like to land back on the stage. Yeah, so like he has all of those options like on when to double jump, and then he also has the option to double jump rise or double jump stop the momentum and land on the stage. Mm -hmm. So it's always tricky edge guarding him when he has that many options. Ooh. But Aiden needs one read here. He's just gotta. It's kind of hard to really get that kind of kill. Uh, like you can't get like a finishing combo. It's like this weird form of arthritis. Aiden's pressure is actually really sick there. His corner pressure. He did an up air to Ooh. grab on shield, and Jose respected it. And all of that momentum just got him to kill. Really good. A little, it took a little longer than I would have wanted to get that kill. Ness living at 180. They look a lot closer in age than I would have initially expected. I don't know. Aiden looks like he looks younger than me, honestly. Jose's a little kid. Aiden also looks like a little kid. Jose does not look like a little kid. Hey, <laughs> does? Uh, I don't know. No. Maybe it's the glasses. I don't know. Or the hair. You know, this actually sounds really mean now that I'm saying it. But Jose looks like a character from a cartoon that I watch. <laughs> what cartoon? Um, it's I watch Star vs. the Forces of Evil. Um, he looks like <laughs> fucking Alfonso in it. I don't I don't know if anybody watches that, but uh, if someone wants to mention that, I'll show you later. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, Jose. Uh, anyways, um, we see, whoa. We see the switch to PS2 uh, stage. Jose is pretty comfortable on. Well, yeah, and I think this is better too because like the few what were they on before like Battlefield. Ooh, I think he was trying to get him with the tail of PK Thunder so that it would just sort of clip his uh, tether, wouldn't actually send him anywhere or pop him up. Um, I think something that actually helps Ness a lot is like, it, which is kind of weird because you would sort of expect that from Samus being like such a. Ooh, that was really yeah. good. Um, being like a fast character. Um, Ness kind of likes a lot of space to run around. Yeah, I think he, it gives him a lot of like tools to work with. Mm -hmm. A lot like, of it has to do with how much he controls he puts in front of him. With dash attack and forward air pressure, um, he covers he covers a lot of range. But when there are, is not a lot of room to work around, or if there's a lot of platforms, yeah, there, are angles, always, there are angles that he's not good at covering. Yeah, I've always felt that Ness feels kind of like cornered in Battlefield, like with like the platform layout, how it's like yeah. closed in, it feels like a little claustrophobic for him. Yeah, because his strongest tools to cover space are going to be his forward air. And like, his forward air. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's kind of the best way for him to cover space and like, oh, I guess we could... So if someone's above him... I guess in a weird way you could say PK fire, but that's more like a... Yeah. It's a different kind of spacing. No, that's true. But that's also like very, very much in front of him. Uh, when he when he's above, it's it's it's, it's, it's good like pressure a at, at a certain angle. But similar to how like the way the stage is right here, like if if he's on like the platform there, the PK fire can, for example, pressure in the middle of the stage and then near the two ledges, yeah. like for both platforms. Yeah. But on battlefield, it only works in the middle of the stage. And you could argue that it's like the ledges on like battlefield, but it. Also doesn't like it. it Battlefield's not as long. Yeah, the platforms are pretty closed in. Not only that, like if you're on the second platform, you can't escape to the top one. 
That's true, yeah. So there's nothing so to you escape could, to. So you could you could still get cornered on these side platforms here. When in Battlefield, you it's harder to get cornered because you have the top platform to run to as well. Yeah. Kind of giving Samus the runaround right now. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that was looking like an actual spacey. Uh, yeah, but uh, it did a really, really good grab. Uh, that shows that like, was the matchup experience and uh, just focus, knowing like just what knowing that he your characters are capable of. Yeah, because he grabbed in the middle of uh, Jose's pressure. That's always super scary. Ooh, I'm not he also, sure what he, he was also going with punished. That. He also punished the thing where Jose like is above the ledge, so he could grab it and he does the up B and puts it in front of him to cover the other. Yeah, guy. that's true. Like not a lot of people. Will yeah, really that cover that, that goes very unpunished. He looked pretty. A lot of far, he looked pretty far out though. I'm not sure if he was expecting it to hit him really soon or. I don't know. Yeah, Aiden was ready for it though. He sure was. There you go. Yeah. 